Morning. Afternoon. What time is it? Afternoon. Morning. How are we, everybody? My nose is a little red. I've been blowing it rather a lot this morning. You have, honey. You have. have. You have, yeah. 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 I don't feel well at all, Katie. Neither do I. No. So there's not the usual energetic. No. I'm going to have to take that down because that's probably going to. Put it there. It's like a big red Adam's apple. <laughs> it's like a turkey. <laughs> Uh, is going to die. Good morning. How are you? Uh, yeah, it, it is. Um, <coughs> yeah, it is afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, and on Tuesday. I would think. Yeah, that's it. We're that's, we're still down a few staff, and we're still paddling like hell. So all should be good. Yeah. Yes. Anyhow, today, again, foraging through our, our bottles, uh, I noticed we had a good few Macallans, and we've some nice Macallans in this month's auction, and I thought how appropriate to talk about Macallans because, you know. People sort of are always asking us about collectability and all that sort of stuff. And I suppose McAllen's really would be the poster children. Poster Chesler. Chesler. Poster Chesler for collectability. I mean, there's barely a release that they bring out that people don't lose the proverbials over. And I'd love to know the numbers. I mean, I don't know whether they've ever actually released how many of each bottles. Yeah. I love when they call them a small batch or something like that. A small batch to them is probably about 120,000 bottles. Positive. So it is a huge, huge industry for them. Uh, I have always thought that maybe subconsciously Middleton have been influenced by McAllen. And maybe there is conversations there going between the two and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, it is literally, you, you can see the presentation and everything yeah. that they're going. Where where maybe the different they would differ from um, Middleton is that Middleton itself is probably only one or two products. So the Middleton Very Rare series and the Middleton Single Cast. Yes. They don't really that. have much more. And then the super elite stuff like the Silent Distilleries and the, the 20th Anniversaries, yeah. the unique one-offs. Whereas Macallan is just everything. They just call everything a Macallan. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. And um, so the, they've they've done really really well. I mean, you've everything from the old white label. We had one of them in last month's auction, uh, the nineteen seventy six. I wanted to buy that because I was born in nineteen seventy six. But you didn't buy it. But I didn't buy it because it went rather expensive, and I oh, went. Okay. Yeah, I'm not paying that. You're not worth it, baby. I'm not worth it. No, you would have bought it for me for my birthday. Your birthday's not late, but oh, Christmas. You know what you're getting for Christmas. Do we? Yeah. Oh, I know that. Okay. Oh, that's on myself. Yeah, but with yeah, yeah. 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 Anyhow, <coughs> nothing to see here. Move along. <coughs> on um, that, so I mean, there's been loads of stories in newspapers about collectability of it. You know, a guy bought his son every year that he since he was born, and he sold it for twelve million euros, and they retired into Bahamas or something like that. Uh, uh, and I've always said the similar to Middleton. I mean, if you'd bought a bottle every year, how much would it be now worth and how much would it cost you over the years? But you've done so much choice in Middleton, in Macallan. It's like, where the hell do I go? What do I put my money yeah, into? that is true. You've got the, the fine oaks and the sherry casks oaks and the age statement ones and the non-age statement ones and the classic cuts and the, and the limited editions and the series and yada, yada, yada. <sighs> There's so much. And it really can be bamboozling. Some of them are only available in airports. Some of them are available wherever the hell you can find it. We haven't had great access to Macallans over the years in Ireland. There would have been very few shops, you know, the the the, the, the Celtic whiskey shops and uh, Foxes and places like that would have been the few shops that you would have been able to access Macallans yeah. in. Um, Belfast, I'd say, would be poorly served by Macallans. I mean, look, the friend at hand is probably one of the greatest whiskey shops ever. Yeah. But they don't sell it and everything's for display purposes only and what they do sell is just the Irish stuff and you have to be there, which I love that concept of it as well. So I thought, look, let's stick a few of them up. Let's talk about them. The classic cuts. So each year they've got an annual release. They've got the 2021 limited edition uh, uh, classic cut. You've got the 2022 classic cut. You've got the 12-year-old fine oak, the 15-year-old fine oak and the 18-year-old sherry oak cask. They're just sort of uh, bread and butter Macallans that just seem to do really well year on year, give a great return, handy buy. Then you've these oddball collections. So you've something like the Lumine here. Uh, so these are exclusive to travellers. Um, not. Don't go there. Please. Okay. Uh, 
<coughs> travellers, I assume, meaning uh, the people who are in airports. Yes. Not. Just keep going, please. And then, anyhow, so, and we have uh, uh, down in the bottom corner, we've the concepts. Concept one, and we've concept three there as well. Uh, concept one was bought out in 2018. Concept three was bought in in 2020. There's two versions of that concept three. There's the one that's on its own like that, and then there's the photography version that's in a bigger box, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, these, and I wanted to talk about these because, again, it just shows where the industry is going. Don't know if you can see that. If you can get in close on that, Jed, it says, at, at the McAllen, we deeply believe in minimizing our impact on the planet. This transit sleeve is to protect our packaging to you on its journey, or on its journey to you, when it has fulfilled its job, we ask that you complete its journey by recycling it, not for display use in retail or home. Which, if they're on about reducing packaging, putting another sleeve on the outside of a packaging is a bit sort of counterintuitive. I know they want to protect it and that, but, but seeing as what's happening next year with Middleton, Middleton are changing their uh, packaging and have been migrating to... Uh, more sustainable packaging. more sustainable environmentally friendly uh, packaging um they're all doing this now and they're all doing these things but i mean again to me the irony of producing another cardboard sleeve to put around the cardboard sleeve to put around the bottle is a bit mad these are uh rich cacao and intense arabica i think these are they're the harmony collection these again i think are for uh <coughs> Oh, I can't remember what it does. I, I think they're... Um, Travel retail? Could be, yes. That's the one I was trying to think of. This innovative packaging gives new life to discarded coffee bean husks. So they're made for vegetarians. They're made from coffee bean husks. Yes. Yeah. So it's recycled cardboard. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. So maybe I might have to take back my statement of yeah, putting cardboard put in cardboard. But when it's made from coffee bean things yeah but on that note on the packaging look at these bad boys i know folio 5 and folio 6 these are the archival series or archival series or however you say it yourself love yes That's they're like heavy. metal they're substantial i mean look that's actually cool they are substantial they are now can you get in there? I, did, I never remember how to get these ones open. There's a wee bit of a knack to them or something like that. I can't remember. I'm not touching them. I it. just, I can't remember. They open a certain way and I've had them before and I've gone open them. I'd probably have to get Nile or somebody like that to open them. Ah, look, you couldn't be asked. Anyhow, that's our Archive uh, 5 and there's Archive 6 there. Go on, do you want to sit down the back there and have a wee root with it and see if it's come up carry with something? Carry on. Yeah, carry on. Not to see here. Move along. Not Anthony's not an idiot. Um... <laughs> One of the other uh, limited edition ones is this, the Night on Earth. Uh, again, uh, cardboard packaging within cardboard packaging. But again, they've done these things. I mean, they're they're fairly impressive again on the presentation. Is it this one that opens up? Yeah, I can never bloody remember. Look at that one. Look at that, Jed. Isn't that snazzy? That is trendy. All colours and vibrant and snazzy and jazzified and everything else. Um, which McAllen's are a good buy. It's hard to know. It really is hard to know. There's very few of them that haven't got a return. Any joy? No. No? Ah, Niall would be the man to open that. He knows he'd probably have it open in 30 seconds. Probably. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time he's opened them. Um, they're very, very hard to guess which ones are going to be the collectors in later years. <laughs> it's a bit like Middleton in a minute. I don't think there's a bad bet on any of them. If you're buying them at retail, if you're holding on to them for any period of time, they're always going to do well. Speaking of what, anybody who's been in my office knows that I do have a few McAllen's myself. I have a couple of leaks up there. I have a leak number six in the in the in the in the middle of my office. Um, here's one that I think is fan dabby dozy. Look at this ah, reflection. Now. You cannot look at that and say that Middleton did not take their influence for the silence from the decanter style of didn't you get it? No. Uh, the decanter style of the McAllen's. Uh, you've got the Oscura, 
you've got the reflection uh, and there's another one as well i can't remember what it is uh that the decanter is in that sort of shape the m uh, all of them the black m the black m is a gorgeous black uh multifaceted bottle again with a big stopper on the top of it it is fantastic looking thing are these gonna go i think these are a great investment for the future particularly these versions of the oscura and the reflection these are the older versions uh, the newer ones are in a smaller uh, packaging, uh, just a bottle on its own and all that sort of stuff, a lot narrower. These ones here, look at that. I mean, that's sitting on a shelf, really impressive, mirrored back and all that sort of stuff. They don't break the bank as a as a buy, but I think they're a real, real, real good one. Uh, have you given up yet? Oh, yeah. Hey, I have. how are you? Um, <coughs> don't cough, don't cough, don't cough. Don't cough, don't cough. Um, so that's it. Look, as I say, I think McAllen is a, is a one that's growing they've been growing in our um our auctions our yeah, auctions yeah. every month i mean There's we're getting more, more, more and more and more of them and um, so it is something that is growing there is a lot more other uh, uh high-end scotch uh on the floor there you've got a dalmore 25 Lagavulin. you've got a lagavulin 25 talisker 10 there's a few old art bags over there as well um there's lots and lots Balvenis. and lots balvenies yeah yeah I do like the Balvenies, them, some of them, them double oaks and all that sort of stuff, or double barrels would be really, really nice. There's another uh, night on earth as well. Uh, so look, it, it's not just Irish whiskey we do at Irish whiskey auctions, strangely yep. enough. Uh, we do do plenty of other scotch. Uh, we have boxes that uh, you do need an engineer's degree to work out how to get into the damn things. Yes. Or a Nile. Or a Nile. We will rent out Nile on an hourly basis to come to your house and open the box. No, Nile would say no. Ready? Yes. All right, okay. Contact me privately. No, no, I would still say no. Am I not allowed to rent out the staff? You're not allowed to rent out the staff. It's friend It is, it is. It is friend uh, We should be ready for Thursday. We were hoping that we're ready for Thursday and we're live on Thursday at 5 p.m. and that gives the staff Friday off. That yes. was what the original plan was. We're hoping to stick to that original plan. Yes. We may have to kick it till Friday, but we should be all right. I think we're all right. I think we might get it over the line. We've, Maybe, we've we'll see. put in a few in late hours already, so we might put in a few more. It's not very good trying to recover from Ebola. No. And dealing with this. And run a pub. And run a pub. No, there's no fun in that at all. No, 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 no. So uh, there's anyway. today's lesson. Don't get Ebola. Uh, don't buy a pub. And don't set up a whiskey auction business. No. No, there you go. That's, that's the thing. That's, yeah. that's the lesson. Take a job day. in the civil service. <coughs> civil service work hard. Sorry. Yeah. It is. Civil service work hard. Anywho, we'll see you tomorrow. The antlers fell. Bye. Bye.